The Twin Victim Disturbing Monsters of the Silent Hill Game Franchise Survival horror games have always been super popular in the video game community, and the Silent Hill franchise has enjoyed the utmost respect here. It is considered to be one of the best, if not the best, by many. The calm and nightmarish mood of the game is one of its highest selling points alongside the madness of the hellscape, and of course, you can't forget how much of a banger the Clawfinger OST is. The game was created by Keiichiro Toyama and published in the late 1990s. It is the blueprint when it comes to horror video games with its eerie atmosphere, frightening storyline, and memorable creatures. The game follows Henry Townshend and his experiences in the other worlds. It also boasts a phenomenal roster of disturbing creatures, and one of them whose design is likely to show up in your nightmares over and over again is the star attraction of today's video, The Twin Victims. Before diving into the content, we would like to make a very small request to our viewers. Please subscribe to Marvelous Videos, like and comment on our videos, and press the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a video. We will be grateful to you and we hope to bring you the best nerdy content. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The Room That Became the Doorway to Hell, Silent Hill 4. Silent Hill 4 was developed by Team Silent. Konami took over the publishing works for this survival horror series and it finally launched in North America on September 17th, 2004. Several video games are famous for having insanely detailed plots that are brilliant enough to outdo popular movie franchises and television shows. And Silent Hill is far from being an exception to this. Henry Townshend is a man who lives in a city called South Ashfield, which is a long drive away from Silent Hill. He is happy with his comfortable life, living in room 302 of his apartment. However, one day he gets locked in his own apartment, oblivious to the horrors that await him. Strange nightmares begin to plague him. Henry tries to escape via the front door or the window, but fails to do so. He bangs on the door and screams for help, but no one can hear him. And no one really seems to care about his absence, except for the residents of room 303. Hey, there's something wrong with this room! Five days pass by, which after Henry finds a hole in his bathroom wall, he breaks it loose with a steel pipe and the walls open into the other worlds, the place where Henry experiences the hell of Silent Hill game. Here he finds himself in different worlds where he fights terrible creatures, some of which are immortal. He can also travel to and fro when it comes to the new worlds in his apartments as they happen to be connected by these mysterious holes. What's interesting here is that the murders he witnesses in the other worlds are also taking place in the real world, and the people who are getting murdered are stuck in the same situation as his. Naturally, Henry investigates the strange matter and learns about a serial killer called Walter Sullivan. This is a man who had been a terror in his own city, Ashfield, years ago. He would kill people and carve numbers into them. He was arrested later and committed suicide later. However, Walter has come back as a ghost and his victims have also reincarnated as ghosts and creatures in the game. Henry eventually gets to the meat of Walter's backstory, which is in a way creepier than the creature we will talk about today. Walter was born in Henry's room, i.e. room 302. However, he was abandoned by his parents and grew up in the Wish House Orphanage, an orphanage located outside Silent Hill. Well, what about a mom or dad? Yeah, but I never met him. They left South Ashfield Heights right after I was born. There, he learned about the occult and its various rituals. He also learned the teachings of the order. Soon, he began to believe that Room 302 was his mother. Walter grew up as a dude with the weirdest possible mother imaginable, and with his occult knowledge, he decided to awaken the room by purifying it. Cause you know, he wants his mommy. And his purification could only be done by the 21 sacraments ritual, a ritual where Walter would have to murder 21 people. Walter killed 10 people in 10 different ways. He also ripped their hearts out. 
He then performed another ritual following which he sacrificed himself via suicide, but he would survive in his manifested world. In this world, he would kill his other victims. And this is why it is necessary to know about the past residents and history of your home. The Twin Victims, AKA Doubleheads. The Silent Hill 4, the room sports its fair share of creepy enemies and creatures, but the Twin Victims, also known as the Doubleheads, definitely take the number one spot when it comes to being disturbing. They make their first appearance in the Water Prison, the third world visited by Henry. This monster was designed by Masaya Okada and also happens to be the favorite monster of game artist Masihiro Ito. The twin victims are the manifestations of 7th and 8th victims of Walter Sullivan. Previously in the Silent Hill 2, they used to be twins known as Billy and Miriam Locaine. Walter killed himself soon after murdering the Locaine twins. I got this from Miss Galvin a long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy holding her mother's hand. Unlike the other victims, these guys fell prey to Sullivan while they were infants. Interestingly enough, this is considered to be the reason why they reincarnated as a creepy creature instead of ghosts unlike the others. It is possible because you can't expect babies to have a full-fledged personality, can you? And as such, they didn't have the maturity or the consciousness following their death. The trailer for the game portrays the twin victims with a bunch of high-pitched shrieks, like that of a child. However, they seem to have deep grunts in the gameplay. They are also one of the few monsters who can actually speak as monsters. The others who can do that are Leonard Wolf, Monocle Man, Mary, Bloodied Bag, Prisoners, Alessa, Steel Guardian, Mama, Lucas, Karen, and Ben. The name Doubleheads give away their status as conjoined twins, like Siamese twins. Their weird walk is supported by their two long arms. Their nature as a disturbing creature is made creepier by their infantile appearance, which makes a terrible contrast with the adult-ish arms. They also wear a dirty smock, from which their arms come out like legs. That's not very attractive. They're not much of a threat though. When they encounter the player, they point towards them and whisper the word receiver constantly. However, if you, i.e. the player playing as Henry Townshend, do get close to them or provoke them by attacking them or shooting them, they will attack you. They lash out at the player and strike with their arms. After this, they do not stop attacking until they have been killed. They'll go around the room with their two hairy legs to take down Henry. They can also cause high damage with their strikes and are very swift when it comes to turning around. So, do avoid standing right behind them or getting too close, and they'll often jump at Henry. You can inflict damage to the twins using an aluminium bat, a rusty axe, or a steel pipe. Continuous strikes and quick strikes should do the trick, but if it's not quick enough, the twins will find an opening and launch their counterattack. Firearms such as the pistol can also work and it is better to use it from a distance to prevent the twins from knocking them out of your hand. They do have a surprisingly long reach after all. Henry's neighbor, Richard, has a revolver that can take down a twin victim with one bullet, but it is only safe to use this trick when the player is close to the creature. However, they are still babies, so when they do take damage from the player, they begin to sob and writhe on the floor like a kid who has been denied his favorite candy at the mall. The only way to stop this is by stumping on them. P.S. The advice is for killing the twin victims and should not be used to stop your toddler from throwing a tantrum. There are other, better ways for that. The twins being conjoined is no coincidence. There's actually an alleged symbolism attached to it and for that, we have to first get down to how conjoined twins are formed. When a fertilized cell or the zygote is created in the woman's body, it can split into two parts, which is how identical twins are created. If the zygote fails to separate completely, the offspring grows to be a pair of conjoined twins. Now, Walter is infamous for his mommy issues. His attachment to her is just abnormal, considering the fact that his mother is a room, which makes his condition worse than that of Oedipus. This is where the little bit of symbolism comes into the mix. 
With Walter suffering from a bad attachment style when it comes to his mother, this twin creature is also one that happens to have a problem with their attachment, even though it is physical and not the most outlandish attachment you've ever heard of. Apart from the game, the twins also appear in the five-part miniseries comic Silent Hill, Dead or Alive. To get the complete experience of Silent Hill 4, you've got to play it from the beginning. The outdated tank controls can get a bit annoying for the first game, but hey, that came out in the 90s. But with technology improving super fast during the late 90s and the 2000s, the gameplay improves massively with each installment. And with that, today's video comes to an end. What did you think of the twin victims? Did you enjoy this video? If yes, then don't forget to like and comment on this video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice one.